hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss in detail about the multiple choice questions based upon the chemical bonding oxygen uses dash number of electrons for bonding the atomic number of oxygen is 8 hence its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p4 so in the outermost orbit oxygen is having six electrons so it requires two electrons for the stable octet configuration and hence it uses two electrons for the bond formation so in this case option a 2 is right answer the compound containing hydrogen bond is water its structure is h2o ammonia and h3 ethyl alcohol it is c2h5oh so all the three molecules are capable of forming hydrogen bonding so option d all the above is the right answer the tetrahedral molecule is so coming to the structure of the methane methane is having the tetrahedral structure so here option a methane is the right option the strongest covalent bond can be seen in so coming to the structures of hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen in hydrogen molecule single bond is present coming to the oxygen double bond is present and coming to the nitrogen triple bond is present between the two nitrogen atoms with the result nitrogen having triple bond forms the strongest covalent bond and hence option c is the right answer molecule formed by ss overlapping is so coming to the option c that is hydrogen the atomic number of hydrogen is one and its configuration is one s one and hence it is capable of forming the single bond through ss overlapping so option c hydrogen molecule is the right answer molten nacl conducts electricity due to the presence of generally ionic compounds contains ions nacl is actually na plus cl minus so whenever the nacl is present in the molten state these ions are available in the free state so due to the presence of free ions molten nacl conducts electricity so option b free ions is the right option a is having 1s2 configuration b is having 1s2 2s2 2p2 configuration c is having 1s2 2s2 2p5 configuration d is having 1s2 2s2 2p6 configuration the tendency to form electrovalent bond is greater in electrovalent bond means it is nothing but ionic bond in general the electro positive or electro negative atoms will form ionic bond more readily so coming to the a and d they are having the noble gas configuration they do not form chemical bonds coming to the b it is having 2s2 2p2 configuration so it forms covalent bond so coming to the option c its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p5 that means it is short of only one electron and hence compound c is capable of forming ionic bond more readily so here option c is the right answer both ionic and covalent bonds are present in water contains only covalent bond nacl contains only ionic bond whereas hcl contains covalent bond coming to the option d naoh contains both covalent and ionic bond na plus oh minus so between na and oh minus ionic bond is present between oxygen and hydrogen covalent bond is present 
solubility of alcohol in water is due to it is due to the formation of hydrogen bonds so here hydrogen bonding is the right option three lone pairs of electrons are present in coming to the water molecule oxygen contains two lone pair of electrons coming to the hf molecule it contains three lone pair of electrons ammonia contains only one lone pair methane will not have any lone pair of electrons so hf molecule contains three lone pair of electrons so option b is the right answer the number of lone pairs is same in pcl3 and so phosphorus contains one lone pair of electron and coming to the pcl5 already lone pair of electrons are used in the bond formation so here nitrogen belongs to the same group and hence option b nitrogen trichloride contains the same number of lone pairs as pcl3 which of the following does not have lone pair of electrons chlorine contains three lone pairs hydrogen contains two lone pairs ammonia contains one lone pair of electron coming to the ammonium ion here during the formation of ammonium ion that lone pair is used to form the covalent bond coordination covalent bond between ammonia and h plus so option d is the right option bonded electron pairs present in the octahedral sf6 molecule so sf6 molecule contains six bonds and hence six bonded electron pairs will be present which molecule is planar so ammonia is having pyramidal structure ch4 is having tetrahedral structure SaCl4 is also having tetrahedral structure whereas iodine is having the planar structure so option D is the right answer which molecule is not linear so BeCl2 is linear CO2 is linear C2H2 is also linear but coming to the pcl5 it is not having the linear structure so in this case pcl5 is the right option if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day